welcome back to a new game. Uh, this is Relic Keepers by Idea Cabin. Um, that relic in the gazebo, that's what we're supposed to be protecting. Um, so as you can see, I've got no hand. I've just got a floating sword. Um, I'm about to pick up that bottle on the green. Which is, oh, we can just pick up green bottles. Um, oh good, we're looking after a teleportation civilization. Hello, you. Wake up. Wake up. We're under attack. Wake. Wake. Um, this, uh... Oh, here's a guy. Battle. You are knighted. I knight you. Go. Fight. Fight with your brothers. And, uh, that's the, uh, relic that we need to protect. And you can see we're under attack. Okay, man. I need you to be brave. I need you to be gallant. Attack! May our enemy, uh, may our swords be coloured red by the blood of the our enemy, our enemy that sound like a, a duck, a duck that's had its tweaker burnt or something. What is the wrong with it? <laughs> Stupid noise of noise of the enemy. Okay, so you see these ones here with the uh, diamonds. Uh, there's five of them. You need to just. Uh, Basically, not the five down as quickly as you can. And uh, once you've done that, you can go for, for a little bit of a sticky beak around the place. Uh, have a look at the eye candy. You pay three dollars for it, so you, you know you might as well. Um, wouldn't worry too much about the enemies. Uh, none of them know what they're doing. See, like they everyone's just running around. Um, and, uh, the, here's a beautiful t waterfall. Um, might want to sit here and take in the waterfall. You've spent three dollars for the waterfall, so you might as well enjoy it. Because, uh, that, that, that right there is the graphical, um, top-notch, uh, eye candy spectacular that you've bought the game for. Nothing else in the game they ever get, you know. So, as you can see, the enemies have no idea what they're doing. Um, that guy has no idea. Wake up! Wake up! Uh, there's not really much else to do. Um, just sort of run around. And be an idiot like the rest of them. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, there's some more colourful eye candy there. Um, and the, you just got to get the five uh, diamond trolls. I just get one of them to hit me. So you can see my health uh, going down on the right hand side there. I just one hit him and he's dead. Uh, see, the health go down. Now I'm one hitting him and... No, I'm not one hitting this guy. This guy's, this guy's hardcore. He's got some tats. That's why. Oh, the other guy went down. The other guy went down because he didn't have the tats. They both have the squeaky voices. You can pick up those red bottles and replenish your health anyway. Uh, so there's the, is that the extra diamond over there? There's the extra diamond, there's the fifth one that we need to. If you have a look at the birds, the birds are actually swimming, s swimming, uh, flying sideways. They're not actually, and here you can, and look at this for a superpower. I've got a superpower, guys, watch this. Shift reverse, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's warrior school right there. Um, and that's pretty much about it. And you just gotta keep this guy company. Try and, and this guy company. And uh, that's it. There's not really a, anything else to do in this game. Um, yeah, there is another level, I'll show you that in a tick. Uh, basically, yeah. Three dollars. Three dollars for this. Idea cabin. So I'll look at, I'll uh, go into the developer after this game and reveal who he is. Uh, he was a very hard person to find. He's uh, kind of um, some really bad developers. They like to hide their true identity. Uh, where good developers, they like to make their name known. So that's an easy way of telling whether you know a game's worth buying or not. Just has the, is the developer's name really behind the game that he's supporting. If it's not, it's going to be a bad game. And uh, to, there's no, not even any credits in this game. So, you know. And uh, look at the birds. They're, they're flying on the side. 
So if you've seen like uh, gangster American movies when they hold their gun and they cock it 90 degrees, it makes them badass. That's what the birds are trying to do, I think. They're trying to like fly on the side to, to say, we're badass. And uh, if you ever go to a urinal, I, I like to do that when peeing, you know, do the 90 degrees and the other guy standing near you go, he's badass. <laughs> no, um, so... Oh, what else? Oh, we're up to uh, down here. Uh, this is a voiceover because, uh, as I said, uh, it's, it's exceptionally loud. Uh, so you got eight of the little creatures to, diamond creatures to contend with. So you get two straight away on this side. Um, this guy, I don't know what his problem is. Oh, he doesn't make a squeaky noise. They don't belong. They're naughty. What happened to the squeaky noise? Yeah, oh, squeakies. <laughs> uh, and this is the last level, too, guys. This is, this is it. This is the end of the game. So you got two here that you need to contend with. Uh, you can get trapped, like you can get trapped with them all surrounding you. Got another one over here you need to take care of. Uh, they always come at the same distance the same spawn ends so this one you need to take care of he can be quite difficult um, I'm gonna see if I can get him in the middle he did um, so as you can see I'm a little bit stuck there so it's very easy I'm gonna back off a little bit oh no there's another guy on the side here once you've done that one you can back off uh, I think that was about eight uh, so just go to the San June and they lose track of you it's like where do you go? <laughs> right? Yep, I have no idea. They're like, he's gone! That was magic! <laughs> um, they can just about detect you here. Uh, but um, maybe a little bit further up. About here, maybe. Um, but uh, generally speaking, they can't. If I went for running, would they would start detecting me? Look at the sand hills. Oh, crazy. Um, so there's only two levels, and that's it. On first level, five enemies that you need to take down. Second level, eight enemies. And uh, yeah, we got detected. Uh, just did that to break up them, uh, and then you just got to wait for the portal to open up. That's pretty much it. And as I said, I will reveal who this guy is. And I will reveal, uh, we'll talk about him a little bit. But as I said, the going rate is, if they don't reveal their, if they're not forthcoming about their name, bad, 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 you'll get crap loaders. And uh, quite, quite pricey. So I've just swung in, I thought it would be close to opening up. And these type of developers are, I don't know if he's, um, if he's got multiple companies, uh, well I know he has multiple gaming companies, um, but he, I'm wondering if he has multiple businesses as well. Uh, so that's it, and then you get to this, you are victorious, and then you continue and it goes back to the main screen, and that's it. See? So, who is this guy? Let's have a look. So this is Relic Keepers on the uh, Steam Store page. So for $2.95 and uh, it's from Idea Cabin. It's got 8 user reviews. Uh, thankfully, hopefully not too many people have bought it. Um, so I would say it's only got negative reviews. Yep. Oops. Eight negative reviews is good. Um, sworn as a protector of the realm, your duty is to protect a powerful relic hidden away in a small outpost. Suddenly you hear a war horn as monsters rush in to attack the villagers and lay claim to the relic. Armed with your battle-hardened sword, defend the villagers and protect the relic against these vile intruders. So... The guy's evidently good at English to be able to write all that. Let's have a look at the rest of his games. Again, 
as you can see every single game has pretty much a negative score um, which geez this one's even $10 that one's for $5.95 yeah wow um, so who is this guy so this is his YouTube account uh, again he's only got eight uh, but you can see his games drive by hero is I it's just to um, push out uh, a, a preview for his games on Steam uh, it still doesn't tell us anything about him it's still an alias but if you go to the mod B uh, website you'll see where he began uh, so again idea cabin but uh, we now know his name is Daniel Ryan Payne remember there's no credits in that game either so he tries to hide pretty much everything now about his true identity but here we have his real identity so if I hunt a little bit further in the Indol website we have idea Kevin when he first uh, made the company 2013 uh, he's put this as an address I've looked it up um, it's a common address used by bankrupt companies uh, it's probably just a shell uh, it's got one employee put his turnover still an existing company um, again it's in the UK um, but uh, so I, I I thought there might be a little bit more to this guy so I dug a little bit deep so I wanted to see if he's got any other businesses linked to his uh, personal name he does uh, he has another soft puppet account called Bunker Arts Limited and uh, again another fake address um, or just a shell shell address and um, again a publishing of computer games so my guess is if the one account ever gets deleted he'll just use the second account and just uh, open up all over again so here's the uh, initial address that he's uh, put um, now there are four companies that are attributed to this building but uh, two of them are bankrupt and the other two are not his so um, yeah fake, fake addresses um, so let's see that's really the bottom line if a developer is hard to find a lot of aliases never willing to put their personal name out there you know it's just a scummy fragrant flagrant um, bad developer who really doesn't care and finally this is the the uh, what he looks like this is the this is the true identity of Daniel Ryan Payne or as he likes to call himself Dr Payne and he has this on his Facebook page nothing in the bank as usual well the way you're going I don't think you're going to be making big money from this game either until next time bye for now